Thanks, Anita. Thanks, Brian. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Rich Edson in for Martha McCallum. Right now on the story, we are awaiting potential word from the Supreme Court as the push continues for the justices to tackle former President Trump's disqualification from the Colorado ballot. On the ballot for now, after an appeal by the state's Republican Party. This, as the GOP frontrunner faces a new challenge in the election interference case, special counsel Jack Smith asking the judge to limit what Trump can say during his expected March trial, writing he shouldn't be allowed to propagate irrelevant disinformation or inject politics into this proceeding. Trump firing back that Smith, quote, wants to take away my right of free speech. Jonathan Turley standing by with his analysis. But first to Fox News legal editor Kerry kupek Orban, who's got uh, a little bit more on all this. You know, Kerry, this this filing from Jack Smith, d do you think it's it's necessary? Is it overkill? Where does it go from here? It reminded me a lot of the gag order that Jack Smith also wanted in November. And that was a gag order that the ACLU characterized as election interference because of how much it would limit what the former president could say. And in this particular filing that the special prosecutor just filed, it's not just about what he calls disinformation related to January 6th and what he would characterize as conspiracy theories. He also, and this is what he led with in his filing, that he does not want Trump to talk about any kind of selective prosecution, any kind of vindictiveness, or to inject politics into it at all. And, you know, I was thinking, with all due respect to the special prosecutor, that politics ship sailed a long time ago when the De Justice Department decided to prosecute the former president of the United States, who is currently the GOP frontrunner. And Jack Smith is at that politics, the this, this ship's helm. And so for him to ask for such a stifling of Trump's ability to speak, I, I looked at this and I thought, how can Trump even defend himself if the judge was to grant everything that Jack Smith is asking for? Kind of plays into his critics, right? It does. It does. And, and it just bolsters this frustration that Americans continue to have that there is selective enforcement, that the law only goes one way, and it's with respect to the former president applied against him. And again, you know, Jack Smith is bringing untested novel legal theories against the former president. So it's not entirely unreasonable for someone who is having a case brought against him that really has never been brought before to say, well, I think this is selective enforcement because you haven't enforced it before. Yeah. And what he's put out in this document here, are these the types of things that could just come up in the course of a trial that the judge could rule on as they come up? Yes. And that's and that was the other thing that struck me as I read this filing. I thought, well, this is something that the government can just object to in real time. You know, President Trump, we know he is known for his um, speeches <laughs> within his cases yeah. about <laughs> everything and anything. And the government, of course, could object on relevancy grounds. And the judge can make a decision right there in real time whether to overrule or sustain that objection. I mean, that's their recourse. So for them to file this in advance, again, just bolsters this argument that both Trump and a lot of supporters have that it's unfair and it's that he's being unfairly targeted. I mean, it is an aggressive year coming up. There are a lot of cases, a lot of venues, a lot of political events upcoming here. If you look at some of, of, of what the president, former president, is facing here, I mean, the Supreme Court's going to have to get involved, no? On a number of these issues. With respect to the ballot challenges alone, just you know, Colorado, Michigan, and the other ones that are popping up, we are barreling towards chaos if the U.S. Supreme Court does not get involved. And the fact that the Colorado Supreme Court unilaterally removed Trump as an option for GOP voters is just startling and jarring. And now, of course, we know that the Colorado Supreme Court has stayed that decision mm -hmm. uh, pending an appeal. The Supreme Court is likely to issue a stay as well. But, you know, bottom line is, the former president has not been charged or convicted under the federal statute banning insurrection anywhere. And so, and with that, and had he been, there would have been due process attached to that. And the problem with the way the Colorado Supreme Court applied the law um, in the case there is that there was no real due process. Yeah, yeah. Kerry Kupek, Urban, good to talk to you in New York. Usually we're hanging out yeah. in D.C. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.